All right, guys, welcome to this next part of the tutorial video. And now we're actually going to get to the most fun part of this tutorial, which is actually coding the Vue.js. So we have our Vue.js little, uh, we have our, all these signs are basically, that's how Vue.js works. You put it in double mustache brackets. Inside that, you type in the variable, the, the data variable that you want to pop up. So what we're going to do is we have our, uh, we have our, whole app inside a container inside a container and then we have another div inside it called app and that's the target vjs we're going to create so we're going to go new view and inside here we're going to go l app next we want to have a data variable so we're going to go data occupations and we're going to create an array for occupations And we're gonna go type doctor. So occupation type is doctors. Occupation salary is equal to five five hundred thousand. Uh, and and uh, I'm just gonna two three one two three. Control D on PHP Storm is copy the line. So and you can include this last comma here. It's like a semicolon when you're typing in JavaScript or PHP. So, and you don't have to use semicolons in JavaScript in case you don't want to, but sometimes I do. And JavaScript is VGS, so you can use semicolons or not in VGS as well, I think. Uh, <laughs> just, these are like the small nuances that you do as, your in, as an individual programmer. So do what suits you and enjoy your programming. The most important part is the fact that you are enjoying your programming. If you're not, you gotta find another occupation, guys because you got to enjoy what you do. And I enjoy making tutorial videos. So liar and uh, software developer uh, accountant bank owner physics engineer. All right, so now let's go for the salaries. Doctor, 500,000, liar, 600,000. Let's put programmers at 1.5 mil, accountant at 350, 350, bank owner at 550, and physics engineer at 350. 330. Let's do 330. All right. So, um, and then what we want to do is uh, we want to define these variables here. So we have chosen variable, chosen occupation, chosen occupation, chosen occupation salary, earned income, and saved income. So we need these four variables. So while inside our data, we just go down here and we go comma and we go chosen occupation and then default is none chosen and then chosen occupation salary. Default is zero. Earned income starts at zero saved income starts at zero all right so we have that now if we go back here and refresh the page there you go everything's looking fantastic all right so i want to create a little margin with from the save button here so i'm going to go uh i'm going to go margin top 20 pixels here so i'm going to go here and i'm going to style margin top 20 pixels refresh the page yeah that looks a little better not the best but and then I'm going to create occupation chosen margin top as well. So occupation, choose occupation. So style margin top 20 pixels. Oops, that's not the one. Copy and paste this. Put this down here. Wait, where was it? Occupation chosen. What did it say? Oh, here it is. Here. All right. There you go. So there you go. That's that's kind of what we want. Um, all right. So next, next, what what do we have to do? All right. If I go back here, if we actually have to make. So this is the tricky part. This is the part, the Vue.js programming part that you guys have all come here to learn. So let's get right into the best part of this tutorial. So what we have to do is we have to um, when we click on one of these buttons, we have to make this none chosen button, this green money button to uh, change to whatever occupation button we chose. So if we chose liar, we click liar, this has to change liar. If we click this to bank owner, this has to change to bank owner. If we click software developer, this has to change to software developer. However, it's not doing that right now. So um, it's right now, right now the occup chosen occupation is none chosen. So what we have to do is we have to create a method so we have to do methods 
and we're gonna create a choose occupation uh, function so choose occupation and we're gonna go enter the job so enter the job and um, what we're gonna do here above is we're gonna create um, a at click method this is a VGS command so we go at click is equal to choose occupation and then inside we go quote quotes uh, punctuation doctor all right so we go like that and if we go back here and we go inside here we go just alert job alert job and we go back here and go doctor click doctor shows up anything else nothing shows up all right so that's how that's how you do that so we're gonna not, we're not gonna alert job we're gonna do something else and uh, here we're gonna basically we're gonna copy and paste this portion and we're gonna paste it here paste it here paste it here here and here all right and then we're gonna go liar whoops liar make sure your spelling's right because otherwise it's not gonna work software developer accountant bank owner physics engineer all right physics engineer all right guys let's do this and we'll refresh the page all right so now what we have to do is we have to go down here and whoops that's not what I want so we got after we go down here, sorry guys <laughs> I'm mixing up my words I'm trying to speak too fast that's why I have a problem I usually I, I'm a fast thinker I I'm not necessarily smart but I love thinking extremely fast so I tend to talk really fast as well so if you guys have a hard time understanding this video there's there's that rewind button <laughs> so you guys can listen to this again so choose occupation go here and go this chosen oops chose chosen occupation so that's the variable right here so chosen occupation is equal to job whoops equal equal to job so now if we go back here and refresh the page fresh now it changes so that's exactly what we want so that's that's working that's working quite well that's working quite handsomely so let's uh let's go to our next part of the tutorial and that's the uh annual salary so the annual salary has to update so how do we do that we go like this we have to have a for each loop so it loops through all the uh occupation data types and when the job passed down here is equal to the type then we want the chosen occupation salary to equal to the occupation type salary that's already stored in the database so to do that we go this occupations for each and we go occupation as the variable chosen and we go if if the occupation type so that's referring to this right here if the occupation type is equal to job with double equal sign because if you don't do double equal sign then it just checks if it's the same type of variable if it's string if it's string if it's integer if it's integer and that's not what you want you want to actually have the same type of string same string characters so you need the double double equation marks double equal signs and if that is equal and I don't know why that's not uh, tabbing indenting properly so if that's equal we want to say this chosen occupation salary is equal to occupation salary so there you go now if we refresh the page there you go now it changes automatically to the different uh, salaries so guys um, I want to move on to the ne next part of the tutorial but unfortunately we're closing in on 10 minutes once again so I will halt this tutorial right here and I will see I hope you guys are having fun guys I hope you guys are enjoying this tutorial and learning lots about VGS so you can make profitable VGS applications and make a lot of money as a programmer all right that's my goal for you guys so uh, I will see you guys in my next video thanks guys